Hello student, I'm going to show you how to write and run an example problem in the Grok learning system. You can see here I have an example problem. It says, write a program that asks the user for their name, then greets them by saying hello. I've written a three-line program here. Line 1 has an input on the right-hand side of an equals. The input displays the words type your name on the screen and waits for the user to type something. It saves whatever the user types in the variable on the left of the equals. This variable is called your name. Line 2 prints the your name variable, which displays back to the user whatever they typed into the input on line 1. And lastly, line 3 prints the string have a nice day. I can run this program by clicking the run button at the top right. Down the bottom of the screen I can see this output tab, and you can see it has displayed the string for my input, asking me for my name. I'm going to click down here and type Trevor, and then I'm going to press enter. You can see my program has printed my name back, and it's also told me to have a nice day. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to mark my program to see if I've solved this problem correctly. Oh no, it tells me not yet, your submission failed a test. It says the input prompt message must be what is your name. Your submission did not produce the correct output. It shows me here what my program did and it also shows me what my program was supposed to do. I'm going to close that and take a look on the left hand side here. I can see this example here. This shows me what my program should look like if I run it. The blue text shows what my program does, and the black text shows what I might type into the program. If I run my program again, and type grok and press enter, you can see my program doesn't look exactly like the example. So I need to change my program to get it to do exactly the same thing as the examples. I could run my program as many times as I like and try different inputs. For example, I could type Peter or it could type Sally. You should run your program a lot before marking it to see what your program does when you've used different inputs. Now I'm going to read back through the earlier slides to see if I can remember what I need to do to fix my program, and I hope you have fun experimenting with running your own programs.